Today I'm going to go through the process of setting up Dynamic DNS or DDNS on my ASUS RTAC86 u router. Dynamic DNS enables uh, a user to access any resources um, on their internal network if they are using a DHCP assigned IP address from their ISP provider. Okay, so first of all, what you would need is a free DNS uh, account. Uh, the one I use is noip.com. I've already go ahead and set up a user account and also create my DNS name space on noip.dns. As you can see here, the DNS name that I have created is diytechtips.ddns.net. Okay, so first of all, within my ASUS router, I'm gonna log in. There are two ways to actually um, go to set that up. First of all, on the network map homepage, I can select go or I can scroll all the way down to the one tab and I would see DDNS right here. So we're gonna do it the long way and we're gonna go DDNS and we are going to enable DNS. It gives you a short description of what it actually does here. So we would select yes. Right currently you'll see it says inactive, the status. First setting that you want to set is the meta to retrieve one IP. Currently, this router is behind a router that is given by the ISP. So in order for me to get the actual external routable address, I would be using external option. The server basically gives you the option of selecting one of the DDNS provider predefined. Uh, I would be using noip.com. I would be putting in the host name. So the host name is diytechtips.ddns.net. And my username, I would be putting the username that I have created for the account. and I would be putting the password for the account. We're not gonna be changing any other settings besides um, the force update interval days. So we're gonna be using the enable wildcard as no and one IP and host name verification as no. We're gonna be selecting one day. So every day it's gonna Verify that the current external IP address from your ISP that is given to your router, um, if it changes, it would automatically update it within the DNS dynamic DNS of noip.com. At the bottom here, uh, we would not be using SSL, so we would select none, and you would just select apply. Okay, as you can see here, it is registered successfully. As you can see, registration is successful. Okay, we can just go back to the home page and we would verify here. It says DDNS Tech Tips dot DDNS dot net is currently registered. Okay, that completes the registration process. It normally takes about an hour to update the current IP address within the new IP uh, dashboard. So it would update within about an hour. Once that is done, if you would need to set up access to any of your internal resources within your network, what you would have to do is do port forwarding. So I would walk you through the process of setting that up. You would go to one, tab and you would see virtual server port forwarding. What this does, it enables you to forward any port. So let's take, for example, if you're using RDP 
and you want to remote to one of your machines um, inside of your network or in your home network, you would need to set up port 3389 on your ISP's router to forward all traffic that it receives on that port, whether it be TCP or UDP, to be sent to this router's IP address. As you can see here, this is my router one IP address. So once it receives any requests on port 3389, it knows where to send that request. So for an example, we're gonna turn on port forwarding. Once that is enabled, then we would actually go and add a profile. So let's say, for example, we would want to send a port 3389. It may not have 3389 here, or we can actually do a custom one here. So let's say service name is remote desktop connection. Uh, we're going to select the protocol, it can either be 2CP or UDP, but we're going to be using both. The external we port, it's going to be 3389 because that's the, the, the port, the default port for RDP, and the internal port would be 3389 as well. The internal IP address will be my current Dell machine because that's what I have connected to it. So it would give you the list of all the devices that is connected to your router. And the source IP address, we do not have to put anything for the source IP address. So anything that comes in on port 3389, it knows to send it to this IP address and this port. And then we would select OK. It would add it right here. So you'd see remote desktop connection, the external port number is 3389, the internal port number is 3389, and the internal IP address is 192.168.50.100, and it would be using both TCP and UDP protocol. Once that is set up, you will be able to do an RDP connection to diytechtips.ddns.net, and you would put in the colon 3389 and that would actually go directly to your RDP connection. That is it for uh, setting up DDNS on the ASUS RTAC86 router powered by Merlin. Thanks again for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe.